Hey guys, my name is Varen Jai Mungo Singh and I'm the president of CPMSA. I'm also a year three medical student from the MBBS class of 2022. And today we are going to introduce you to the thyroid exam. We are going to run through the basic principles of the exam and just generally give you a little guide to approaching your OSCE exam, right? I hope that this video will help you to study, to practice, and I hope that you all do well in your OSCE in the coming years, right? Uh, so today, we are going to do the thyroid exam. But before we discuss the thyroid exam, of course, we are going to do an exam. So there, uh, you need some basic principles of, of, of any medical exam. So it starts with dress. We need to dress appropriately. Uh, so for boys, you will wear your white shirt and your dark trousers. Um, ensure that you have a dress shoe, of course, and that you look professional. For uh, girls, you will wear modest professional wear. And of course, you have to have your white silk coat, right? Um, everyone needs to have his or her student ID. And of course, you need your tools. You can't do anything without your tools. And what are our tools? So you will need to have your st stethoscope, your tendon hammer, and your trusty hand sanitizer. Some exams, you'll require your pen light and you'll require measuring tape, right? But for the purposes of the thyroid exam, these three things are all that we need, right? <coughs> now, of course, we are going to examine patients. So we need to, our patients don't know us and we don't know our patients. So we, when we approach our patients, first of all, sanitize our hands. We will introduce ourselves. Hi, my name is Varanjai Mangal Singh. I'm a year three medical student. And today, um, I've been asked to perform a thyroid exam. Uh, assess the patient's age, name and age. Um, of course, you will ask the patient whether they, you can call them by their first name or their last name and so on. Build a rapport with your patient. and. Uh, Upon doing that, um, you ensure that you have your hands sanitized, of course, and then we are going to approach our patient. So upon approaching our patient, we want to do some basic things. We need to inspect because someone is in front of us. After inspection, uh, this is a thyroid exam, so we are going to inspect the neck area for any signs of thyroid pathology. So we will inspect for uh, masses and so on. Um, we are going to inspect the eyes. We are going to look for dilation of the veins, conjunctival edema. Uh, we are going to inspect the hands. Of course, we are, we are accustomed to saying hands are warm and moist. And we are going to look for signs of palmar erythema, clubbing, thyroid acupatchy as well, right? Um, after, after inspection of the hands, uh, we are going to go to the back of the patient. Of course, you will have to palpate and feel the patient's neck. You want to see if there's any obvious masses. Um, you will obviously have to look at the, uh, assess the patient's lymph nodes. Then you will come to the front of the patient. You will assess uh, vision, blurred and double vision. You will assess any, any, any signs such as lid lag and lid retraction and so on. And uh, finally, you will have to look at the patient's legs and look for signs such as pre-tibial mixed edema, um, as well as a reflex. Your reflex could be a bicep, uh, ten, uh, triceps reflex, a knee jerk reflex or even an Achilles tendon reflex, right? Um, following this, uh, that was the general run through of the exam. And now I will show you all what is the actual exam. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Varanjai Mangal Singh. I'm a year three medical student. How are you, sir? Good. Okay, good. Could I have your name? Rajiv. Rajiv. How old are you, Rajiv? 23. 23. Okay, Rajiv, today I've just been asked to perform a thyroid exam on you. Uh, it will involve me looking at you from a distance from here. I'll have to look at your neck, look at your face. Um, I'll also have to touch your face, touch your neck. I'll have to ask you to stand and also I'll assess your reflexes. Is that okay with you? Okay, great. You in any discomfort or anything right now? All right. So upon inspection, uh, Rajiv is sitting comfortably. He's appropriately dressed for the weather. He is not fidgety, uh, no anxiety. He's not sweating excessively. Um, upon inspection of the neck, uh, there's no scarring, no skin changes, there's no there's regular hair distribution. Could you just raise your neck to me, please? Right, no signs of any prior um, thyroid surgical procedures. Uh, everything seems to be normal. Uh, upon inspection of the face, uh, there's no conjunctival edema. There's no dilation of the uh, vasculature. Um, there's also no loss of the outer one third of the eyebrows. Uh, Rajiv, I'm just going to ask you to please put your palms out like this to me, please. Okay, so there's no signs of palmar erythema. 
which leaves hands up uh, warm and moist, no signs of excessive sweating. There's no signs of thyroid acropathy. Um, can you put your hands like this for me, please? Thank you. So there's no loss of the nail bed angle. Okay, great. Okay, so Rajiv, um, at this time, I'm just gonna ask you to swallow. Okay, and I'm gonna ask you to protrude your tongue. Okay, um, can you just take a sip of water and swallow for me, please? Okay, so there's no, no masses moved upon swallowing or upon protrusion of the tongue, right? Um, I'm just going to assess your vision right now. I'm just going to ask you to tell me if you have any pain or blurred vision upon following my fingers, right? So I'm going to do an eight, so that's that. Okay, did you experience any pain or blurred vision? Okay, great. I'm just going to ask you to follow my finger one more time. Okay, there's no lead lack. Uh, Rajiv, at this time, I'm just going to come to the back of you. Okay, Rajiv, I'm just going to touch your neck right now. Do you have any pain? Okay. So I'm going to palpate the thyroid. As you'll see, I have, I'm using three fingers on either side. The thyroid is an H-shaped gland. So three, three fingers on the right lobe and three fingers on the left lobe. So while I, my thumbs are behind his neck, when I'm palpating the right lobe with three fingers, of course, I'll have the other fingers providing support and vice versa. At the end, I'll have to palpate the isthmus, right? So Rajiv, and I'm just going to ask you to swallow. Can you protrude your tongue for me, please? Okay, so there's no, move, no movement of any masses, no masses felt upon protrusion of the tongue or on swallowing. Great. Um, Come and do the test. Come do that. Right. Uh, Rajiv, can you look straight ahead for me, please? Okay, so there's no signs of exophthalmos. I'm just going to assess your lymph nodes. I'm going to touch uh, submental, submandibular, preauricular, postauricular, posterior cervical chain, the anterior cervical chain. Uh, Rajiv, could you just shrug your shoulders? Okay, so there's no obvious lymphadenopathy. Lymph nodes are not palpable, right? I'll now come to the front. And I'm just going to take a listen to my cervical. Okay, there's no thyroid breweries. Uh, Rajiv, I just want to have to touch your chest, right? Okay, so there's no retrosternal extension, right? Uh, Rajiv, at this time, I am just going to ask you to please uh, stand and put your hands like this for me. Okay, there's no proximal myopathy. You can sit. Okay. Um, upon inspection of the legs, there's no pretibial mixed edema. Right. Uh, Rajiv, I just have to test your reflexes, so I will use my tendon hammer. So I'll use my tendon hammer, and I'm just going to assess your reflex. Okay. Okay, great. Um, Rajiv, we have come to the end of the exam. Thank you very much. You have been great. Um, all findings were consistent with that of a normal thyroid exam. So in summary, today I conducted a thyroid exam on Rajiv, a 22-year-old male. All findings were consistent with that of a regular thyroid exam. To complete my exam, I would perform a thyroid function test as well as an ultrasound. Um, so guys, we have come to the end of the thyroid exam. I hope that you were able to learn from this video and I hope it continues to, to help you in, in your practice with you, your friends, and it helps you to pass your OSP. Thank you. So guys, we have come to the end of the thyroid exam. Ideally, you have to perform this entire exam from introduction to conclusion in the space of five minutes. Be sure to thank your patients, summarize your findings, and of course, conclude with what you will do next. This was a thyroid exam, so our next steps would have been our thyroid function test as well as an ultrasound. This will apply for any other exam. You will have to look at your, your further testing, right? I hope that this video was beneficial to you. I hope that you were able to follow all of these steps. Um, and I hope that it will help you, your friends, and everyone in practicing for your OSCE. I hope that it will prepare you for your OSCE. And I hope that you will not just pass your OSCE, but that you will excel in your OSCE. Thank you very much.